This is problem number four of the International Math Olympiad in 2017. Please read the description of this problem, and then we will construct the drawing as we usually do for geometric problems. First, draw circle omega and a chord RS that is not a diameter. Then prolong this chord to point T to double its length, as required by this problem. Then draw the perpendicular bisector of segment ST in the direction where it crosses the straight line L that is tangent to circle omega at point R. Note that line L cannot be parallel to segment MB since chord RS is not a diameter of circle omega, and so tangent line L at point R is not perpendicular to RS. Obviously, the centers of all circles whose boundaries contain points S and T lie on the perpendicular bisector of segment ST. And the closest center of circle gamma is such that gamma is tangent to line L, since the requirement of this problem is that circle gamma must at least reach or intersect line L. So all centers of circles gamma must lie on the perpendicular bisector of segment ST between this first point O, shown on the diagram, and infinity. Note that the radius OS or OT or OA will always be shorter than the distance between center O of a circle gamma and point R. In general case, circle gamma intersects line L at two points. We must draw the straight line through the closest to R point of intersection A of circle gamma with line L. And through the first point J of intersection of circles gamma and omega. Point K is the second point of intersection of this line with circle omega. The conjecture of this problem is that segment KT is tangent to circle gamma at point T that we are supposed to prove. Since line L is tangent to circle omega at point R, angle ARS between tangent line L and chord RS is equal to angle RKS inscribed in circle omega, which is subtended by chord RS. This is the known fact in geometry that follows from the chord tangent theorem. These two angles are highlighted by red arcs. The common chord here is RS. Analogously, to prove that KT is tangent to circle gamma at point T, it suffices to prove that angle KTS is equal to angle SAT inscribed in circle gamma and subtended by the common chord TS. These two angles are highlighted by blue arcs. It will be our dream throughout the solution of this problem to prove the equality of these two blue angles, like in the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow, Bluebirds Fly. As the first step toward this goal, let's prove that lines AT and RK are parallel. Since quadrilateral AJST is cyclic and inscribed in circle gamma, and we can observe that angle JST highlighted by black arc, is subtended by the major arc, JT, whereas angle JAT, highlighted by green arc, is subtended by the minor arc, JT. These two angles are supplementary angles whose sum is 180 degrees. Moreover, angle JSR and the same black angle JST are also supplementary. And we can conclude that angle JSR and angle JAT are equal. That's why both these angles are shown with green arcs. Note that angle JSR is inscribed in circle omega and is subtended by omega's arc JR. Now, angle RKJ is also inscribed in omega and is also subtended by omega's arc JR. 
That's why angle RKJ is equal to both angles JSR and JAT. The equality of these two angles between transversal line AK and lines AT and RK proves that these two lines are parallel. Let's now prolong straight line segments AS and RK until they meet at point A prime. Since lines AT and RA prime are parallel and diagonal AA prime of quadrilateral ARA prime T intersects the second diagonal TR in its midpoint S, we can conclude that quadrilateral ARA prime T is parallelogram. So lines AR and TA prime are also parallel. From this it follows that angle RTA prime equals angle ART. That's why angle RTA prime is highlighted by red arc. Note that the opposite angle of quadrilateral SKA prime T and another red angle RKS are supplementary. So two opposite angles RTA prime and SKA prime of quadrilateral SKA prime T are also supplementary, which proves that quadrilateral SKA prime T is cyclic. From this it follows that angles KA prime S and KTS are equal, since they are subtended by the same chord SK. Since lines AT and RA prime are parallel, and AA prime is transversal line that crosses them both, angles KA prime S and SAT are equal and they both are equal to angle KTS. All these three angles are highlighted by blue color and so our dream about catching these two bluebirds equal angles KTS and SAT have come true. We're done.